Yeah, my name is Wolf Peterson. I'm from Berlin. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, specialized in knee surgery. I do everything at the knee joint, from ACL reconstruction, sports trauma, to uh, osteotomy, reconstructive uh, joint surgery, and uh, even arthroplasty. Yeah, yesterday we had already very exciting uh, ESCA pre-course. It, it was a pre-course about ACL reconstruction and uh, the importance of the peripheral ligamentous structures. It was a very distinguished faculty and uh, very skilled participants. So we had uh, the chance to exercise uh, some, some new surgical techniques in, in cadaver specimen and we had very uh, very interesting uh, presentations and uh, discussions. It was a very nice, nice event. Yeah, so my, my topic today is the use of quadriceps tendon for ACL reconstruction. And yeah, the, 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 there's, there's a growing interest uh, in this graph. So this graph is another option uh, for ACL reconstruction and there are specific indication in my opinion uh, to use this graph especially if you have an associated medial uh, collateral ligament uh, injury then it's uh, um, beneficial to preserve uh, the, the lateral uh, the medial hamstring tendons because they also stabilize uh, the medial joint against biogo stress another group of patients are children because the re-rupture rate uh, when you use a quadriceps tendon in children is much less than when you use for example a hamstring tendon and um, and i think the cause for this is that the graft is uh, the graft size is more predictable um, than using the hamstring tendons uh, in children and the other the last group are high level athletes because there are some studies that have shown that the re-rupture rate is less when you use a quadriceps tendon in comparison, for example, the hamstring tendon.